Welcome to EJ Bits. This is the honest review of the Zhang Xiaotian 5-in-1 knife set with holder. So I believe this is the best knife set for your home kitchen and you can purchase this on Shopee Mall, which means it's legit. The price is on screen and the link for this is in the description down below. So this video will have the unboxing, build quality, sharpness test, as well as a few chopping and slicing abilities of this knife so that you'll find out if this is worth it for its price. As you can see, we have a nice, elegant wooden holder. It has great color and as you can hear, it sounds very solid. The bottom has rubber feet to prevent it from sliding and this is where you store your knives for proper organization. So here we have our kitchen scissors. Very good for, you know, slicing through the bones of chicken, you know, if you want to debone your chicken or do something like that. So we can see that there's a bottle opener in the middle, stainless steel construction and plastic body for you to hold your scissors. So very nice to use. So this one, we have the paring knife. Great for, you know, peeling your potatoes, peeling your apples. And as you can hear, it has a very nice sounding stainless steel construction. The handle is painted like wood, but it sounds like stainless steel to me. So this is a very good knife and I will be showing you, you know, some tests for that paring knife later as well as this honing rod. So this is also known as the sharpening rod. Again, made of stainless steel with a nice texture. This is to keep your knives, you know, level in terms of its, you know, sharp tip. Here we have your Santoku knife. This is a very solid knife. This is a Japanese styled knife and you can see the logo here. Nice stainless steel construction as well as the handle. As you can see, it's painted to look like wood. And this is a very nice construction. So the Santoku knife is, you know, your general chef's knife to use for many different applications. In this one, you have your butcher's knife or the cleaver. Very useful for hacking your chicken, many different meats. And as you can hear, again, full stainless steel construction, the entire body. And I really, really like this cleaver. Very useful tool. As you can see, it's thick and it goes thin and it keeps its sharpness, which I really appreciate. So overall, the build quality is a 9 out of 10. The stainless steel body is made of 40 CR13 MOV, which is, you know, a great stainless steel that is usually used in home kitchen applications. And it will last you for a long time as long as you take care of your knives, use your honing rod to make sure that, you know, the angle of the knife stays the same. And we are ready to move on to our next part, which is, you know, our sharp test, if the knives are actually sharp. And as you can see from the paper test, Things are very sharp, so be careful using the knives. Make sure that you are safe, you know, and you use the proper technique in using the knife to prevent any bleeding of some sorts. Very, very sharp knife. All of them. The paring knife, the santoku knife, and this one, the butcher's knife. As you can see here. There you go. Very, very sharp. It goes through paper like nothing, which is really good. This is our knife sharpening rod. It keeps your, you know, the tip of the knife nice and angled. So make sure that you have a 15 degree angle when you do this. And it also comes with, you know, the guard to protect your thumbs and fingers when you do your honing rod, you know. As you can see, so this is how you use, you know, your sharpening rod. You know, usually chefs do it faster, but this is a nice way to, you know, practice using it. We are now ready for our slicing and chopping tests for this knife. This is the paring knife. Really useful for garlic. Again, very safe to use. We are using, you know, a nice claw grip to make sure that we do not bleed. And we have very nice thin garlic slices. Really, really useful for, you know, your different kitchen applications. If, if you take a look at what I do here, when I, you know, scoot, you know, the food and vegetables over, I use the back part of the knife so that we do not, you know, compromise the sharpness of the actual, you know, slicing tip. So just make sure when you scoot your, you know, food over to the other side of your chopping board, I recommend using the back part of the knife. So really useful for onions, garlic, and many different applications. I also recommend to use, as you can see here, rubber or silicone or, you know, wooden chopping boards. I don't recommend using metal chopping boards. This will really dull your knife super fast. And again, scoot your food using the back part of the knife. So as we can see here, we have a nice, you know, plastic or rubber construction of a chopping board. 
which is really good you know it doesn't really affect your sharpness of the knife too much and as you can see here usually tomatoes are very difficult to slice due to you know the skin of the tomato making it difficult for you know dull knives to go through so as we can see here tomato test thumbs up for me so overall the pairing knife is very useful many different vegetables and it also has a very nice satisfying size usually pairing knives are super super small but this one perfect size for me i have big hands and you might too and you know you might appreciate this knife so again for the pairing knife that's going to be you know a 10 out of 10 for me here we move on to our chef's knife so this one we just have to roll our carrot over cut it in half we have to square off any edges and start with our you know julienning process so this is a method of slicing your carrots so that we have nice little match sticks of carrots so as you can see here going to the last piece we are very slow to prevent any bleeding again so this is the safe way of doing your slicing so again i appreciate as you can see here the shape of the knife take a look at how i'm holding the knife very very safe and i have full control over my movements and i really like this knife santoku knife great for all different kitchen applications i rate this knife at 10 out of 10. so as you can see here you know don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you find this video helpful we are you know doing this for one whole carrot and this took me roughly five minutes and we are moving on to our next knife which is the cleaver or the butcher's knife we are using this on repolio iceberg lettuce and we are having you know nice thin strips very useful for coleslaw and you know different food you know pancit and many different things so again it's very nice take a look at how i hold the knife this one i would recommend using a bit more frozen meat than thawed out meat which makes it easier to slice overall the butcher's knife i will rate this one a 9 out of 10. And for my overall rating, I will rate this entire knife set a 10 out of 10. It has exactly what I need. The Santoku knife, the paring knife, the butcher's knife, the scissors, as well as your honing rod to keep things sharp and last for a long time. I don't need a bread knife. I don't need any other, you know, unnecessary knives in my set. This is perfect for my kitchen and I hope it is also for yours. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this product. Again, I recommend this product. The link is in the description down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more review videos like these. And well, that's all for today's video. Stay tuned for more review videos coming in the future. Thank you for watching.